All right, section 8.1, we're going to be going over systems of equations solving by substitution and elimination. Um, this first problem, we have two uh, equations given. And any time you have one of them solved uh, for y or x, so for example, we have y equals 6 as one of them. Any time you have a y equals or x equals already set up for us, sorry, this is y equals 6, then you want to use substitution. And we're going to find out if these two lines cross and whether they intersect. So we need the x and the y value. So what we know, I keep writing the wrong thing, 42. So what we know is y equals 6. So we're going to take y equals 6 and plug it in here. So we have 4, we have x plus 6 equals negative 42. And then we can solve for x by subtracting 6, and we get x equals negative 48. So we have a x value, we have a y value. Um, anytime we get one x, one y, that means we have one solution. And the ordered pair, the solution is negative 48, comma 6. So these two lines intersect when x is 48 and y is 6. So we have one solution, and we say negative 48, and the y value is 6. All right, so this one should be pretty close. I mean, it's almost set equal, so we'll do this one here as well. <clears throat> so we're given the equation 3, negative 3x plus y equals negative 11. And then the other equation we have is negative 2x equals 36, negative 36. Okay, so we're going to solve this one for x since that's the only variable we have. So divide by negative 2 on both sides of the equal sign, and we get that x equals positive 18. So x equals 18. We're going to use that, and we're going to substitute it into the other equation. So we're going to do negative 3, and then 18. We're going to plug that in for x plus y equals negative 11. And then we'll multiply this. This will give us a negative 54 plus y equals negative 11. And we're going to add 54 to both sides. And this will give me y equals um, 43 positive. Okay, so we got y value. We have x value. So our ordered pair would be 18 and 43. So we get one solution, and we get 18 and 43. 